Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve integration problem by partial fraction. So the given expression, numerator has sin theta d theta. So definitely, this will become dt. And so, t has to be in terms of cos. Already we have cos, but we have sin here. We don't want this sin square theta term. So we are going to replace that sin square theta as 1 minus cos square theta. So integration of sin theta d theta whole divided by 4 plus cos square theta into 2 minus bracket open 1 minus cos square theta. Now this will become integral sin theta d theta whole divided by 4 plus cos square theta into when you take this minus inside first term will be as it is but this will become minus 1 plus cos square theta now this will become integral sin theta d theta whole divided by 4 plus cos square theta into another term will become 1 plus cos square theta. Now we are going to take substitution t equal to cos theta. So dt will become minus sin theta d theta. When we replace this we get minus dt in the numerator and denominator is 4 plus t square into 1 plus t square. Now we are going to take this expression alone that is we have non-factorizable quadratic expression to make it simpler let's take u equal to t square so this will become minus dt by 4 plus u into 1 plus u so we can apply the first rule of the partial fraction that is we have two different factors so let's take the expression minus 1 by u plus 4 into u plus 1. So this will be a by u plus 4 plus b by u plus 1. So if we take LCM, both the terms are LCM, u plus 4 into u plus 1. So here a into u plus 1 plus b into u plus 4. Now both the sides we find the same denominator. So we are going to equate the numerator. So minus 1 equal to this numerator. Now we have to take the value for u. If u is minus 1 then minus 1 equal to this term will become 0 and minus 1 plus 4 is 3. So we get 3b. So from this the value of b is minus 1 by 3. When u is minus 4, we get minus 1 is equal to, this will become minus 4 plus 1 is minus 3. So minus 3a and another term is 0. So from this we can cancel both the minus and the value of a is 1 by 3. So let's substitute in the term where we applied the partial fraction rule a by u plus 4, b by u plus 1. So a by u plus 4, we have dt. When we put integral, integration is with respect to t. And second term is b by u plus 1. So b is minus 1 by 3. So we take minus here, 1 by 3 by u plus 1 dt. Now we have with respect to t, so we have to replace the u. u is basically t square. So, 1 by 3 integral dt by t square plus 4 minus 1 by 3 integral dt by t square plus 1. From this, we are going to apply the formula. The formula is integral dx by x square plus a square is 1 by a tan inverse x by a plus c. 
So the first term already there is 1 by 3 outside. 1 by a is 1 by 2 because this is 4 and this is 2 square and tan inverse x by a so t by 2 minus 1 by 3 again 1 by a which is a is 1 and tan inverse x by a which is t by 1 plus c. We have to replace t. t is nothing but in the starting we gave the substitution cos theta. So this will become 1 by 6 tan inverse cos theta by 2 minus 1 by 3 tan inverse cos theta plus C.